is independently owned and operated by folks in your community, this allows them to better serve their customers and give back to our communities. Stop by your local grocery outlet today. Call Alexa to play 104.3 My FM on iHeartRadio. Ten bucks for every used can of R134A automotive refrigerant. Details at cash in R134A.com. iHeartRadio, number one for music, radio, and podcasting all in one app. And this week is True Crime Podcast Week. Discover the best of the best by the Apology Line, My Favorite Murder, Return Man, a long shot series, Evil by Design, and dozens more. Plus, this year's winner for the best true crime podcast, Crime Junkie. Hi, Crime Junkies. Just open the app and tap podcasts. Ready, set, start listening. And have a great true crime podcast week. Valentine in the mornings, 104.3 My FM. Brian, I have something for you today on the air, and I want to make this presentation on the air with Jill and Kevin. Wow! Let me ask you a question. Yes, my love. Usually I bring my love. Hello. So sorry. Man, the other day a lady said that to me at Starbucks. Very pretty in English. She goes, all right, my love, what can I get for you? I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm well, married, but very sweet. It feels nice to be flirted with a bit. I'm like, well, I get this, whatever. 
And I stepped around to pick up my coffee and I heard her say to the next person, okay, my love, what? I'm like, ah. Oh, darn it. throw away my love. Did you really think it was just for you, though? Did you really think you stepped up and you guys had that connection? I don't know. I did. I did. <laughs> yeah. Tells you I'm crazy. Sorry, then. Yeah, it was disappointing. Brian, usually I bring you a banana. But I have a banana for you today. Thank you. That is the presentation. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and in addition to that banana. <gasps> Here we go. Here we go. The good stuff. I'd like to provide you with a... Yeah. It looks like a treat. It's a treat. Oh, dear. It's a Friday treat. There's, a, there's a theme. Not bread. Oh, you're so mad. Uh, yeah. How nice. How's your diet going, Brian? Shut up. Stop talking to us. We'll start on Monday. <laughs> I went and got some physical therapy yesterday. Jill, have you had physical therapy before? I have in the past, yes. Yeah. So it's it's really good, and the lady who was doing it is trying to increase my mobility. Because I sit at the desk. I sit here. If you sit for a job, whether you're driving all day, or rig or something, or <laughs> apparently I'm just shouting out the tractor trailer drivers, uh, whatever your job is where you sit or even sitting at home or something, after a while, that repeated sitting is no good for you, right? So she's trying to increase my mobility and everything. And it's just, it's such a unique experience getting physical therapy. But I think I feel, I think I feel better. I think, uh, it helps. Yeah. I had a lot of physical therapy growing up uh, because of dance injuries. And uh, that is actually what made me want to be a physical therapist. And when oh, I started really? CSUN, I was a kinesiology major because I wanted to be a physical therapist. I wanted to help people the way I was helped and felt better and took a few classes, but then switched over to communications and here and I here am you this are. job. <laughs> right. I, I always wanted to be a physical therapist. Well, you kind of got a little bit of that, you know, I guess kinesiology probably touches on massage and muscles and stuff and physical therapy. I don't know much about kinesiology. Uh, but Jimmy, when he was in studio, would always rub you. So you kind of got the other side of it. This is not a joke. He gave me a bottle of um, massage oil one time oh for Christmas. Oh, my goodness. No. Jimmy and I have no. that relationship. It's totally fine. It, but he gave it to me to help me with my shoulders, help me with my back. It was honestly the best stuff ever. And, like, I just massaged my own shoulder. Call him up. Call him up. See where he got it. I'll have to see. Yeah, it was great. But you know he dessert. gave it to you thinking he would be the one applying it to Right, him. right. That exactly. was for the two of you. Yeah. God, I love it. <laughs> then, um, remember when Jimmy purchased them? Um, Jimmy's fine live and everything, people. Don't freak about a seminar. Our old yeah. friend Jimmy, who hasn't been on the show in a while. Um, do you remember when he purchased Rachel a pair of pants? Well, and he never knew her size. Oh, I yeah. thought that was one of the funniest, slightly creepiest things ever. I died yeah. laughing. I died she, laughing. She was our intern at the time, you know, maybe a college student. And uh, here's this older veteran, Vietnam vet in the corner, uh, who bought her jeans for no reason and brought in a pair of jeans for our intern. I think there was a reason. There he was a reason. Because her jeans were ripped and holy, and he did the joke where she needed new jeans because right, hers right. had all these holes. Right. But so well, that's not the strange. reason he gave me, but that's a good reason too. Oh, uh oh. <laughs> the reason he gave me was slightly different. <laughs> he told me, "Hey, things should look good in these." I said, "Jimmy, I've got to leave the room right now. I can't be part of this in the court case that ensues after this." You know what I mean? Uh, Brian, what's what's uh, going on the show today? What are we doing? Well, later this hour, you guys have provided your personal picks. For what song should be? Oh, you're gonna play that one I gave you? Yes. Are we nothing. allowed? Probably not. But the uh, person who was our music director is now leaving. So. Oh, that's not know. public. Uh, oops. Uh, oops. <laughs> uh, on vacation. Well. <laughs> what a recovery. To Newport Beach. Uh, permanently. Uh, there you go. No, he's our assistant program director slash music director, responsible for all the music and a lot of day to day stuff behind the scenes. Uh, and he is going on to a wonderful, wonderful opportunity. Uh, which would put him in a position to be kind of in charge, I think. And also, and, and this is very interesting to me, I was thinking about his new position and what he's going to be doing, and which I think has been announced probably, has it? Who knows? Good Whatever. God. Yeah, I don't know. It's, been, no, it's, it's been announced, I'm sure, to the industry. But I was just thinking of him personally. I don't know if he's told people where he's going. Whatever. Everyone's like, who are you talking about? <laughs> Whatever, dude. So anyway, what I found interesting is that he's not... The, he's a very social person, but he's not a social person. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah. Not really. Not really. He's he's not. He's very conservative in certain respects. He wears a vest. He likes vests. Yes, he does. He's gonna be 
forced into a role that he's not usually in. And I think for him, and I would tell him, I think personally for growth as a manager and as somebody in this industry, he's now going to be in that role where he's got to get, you know, somebody's record on the air and he's got to really interact with people and he's got to almost like suck up to them and stuff. And that's the wrong way of saying it, but he's forced social interaction because of his job now that wasn't necessarily the job that he had here. Okay. We just got a text from our other boss, John Peake, and said, slow your roll. So I don't know what that means, but yeah, perhaps... Oh, no. <laughs> no, no, really? No, he's, yeah, he's, he's listening. <laughs> oh, no, no. I think it's some of the music. And the music Oh, okay, okay. No, he doesn't care about this. Okay, like, yeah, yeah, right, okay. Right, right, right. Good. No, slow your roll on the uh, music picks. All right. Does that mean we can't do them? It's too late now. We're doing it. It's too late. Yeah. But does John have any idea what song I picked? <laughs> John's John's like going to be like, I just swear to God, if you play Springsteen again or something, I'm out of here. <laughs> Tony Jordan has the morning traffic. Tony, what's going on? Well, on the westbound side of the 105 freeway, you're coming up on Long Beach Boulevard. We've got a problem now with a couple of pickup trucks that are tangled up and taking away the carpool lane. So, unfortunately, you are still seeing pretty heavy delays there from just before the 710. Southbound 710 is slowing down as you try to make that transition to the westbound side of the 105. Once you get past that crash, though, westbound side of the 105 is looking pretty good as you head over towards the 405 freeway. 10 freeway westbound side is slowing down from the 57 over towards Holt, and then better speeds from there as you make your way to the 605. And if you're coming out of Corona on the westbound side of the 91, there was a and run crash just before the 241. Looks like everything is off to the shoulder, but if you see any lanes blocked, let me know. The traffic tip line is pound at 250 on your cell phone keyword, SoCal traffic. The drive on the 91 is kind of patchy from McKinley over towards the 241, and then better pass that as you head into the OC. This traffic report is sponsored by Taco Bell. Eat like you with Taco Bell's $5 Build Your Own Cravings Box. Pick from some of your favorites to create your own personalized box, complete with a medium fountain drink. Exclusively online or on the app for a limited time, tax extra at a participating, uh, limited to participating Taco Bell location near you. Match your traffic. I'm Tony Jordan with Valentine in the morning on 1043 My FM. From the Southern California Toyota Dealers Traffic the more you save. With savings of 20, 25, even 30% off. Take 20% off purchases up to $1,499. Take 25% off purchases of $1,500 to $3,000. And 30% off purchases over $3,001. Plus, special financing is available. Lazy Boy Furniture Galleries offers a shopping experience as comfortable as the furniture with 12 Los Angeles area locations to serve you. Lazy Boy, live life comfortably. Over the last year, COVID-19 has affected us in many ways, but it has also taught us the power of community. This year brings me hope. Every day, we're one step closer to ending this pandemic. So don't let up. Keep wearing a mask, staying six feet apart, washing your hands, and get vaccinated when it's your turn. Every day and every action matters. To learn more, visit covid19.ca.gov. Brought to you by the Center at Sierra Health Foundation. What if I lose my job? Who will take care of my child if I go to the dentist? Is it to go to the dentist or the doctor? How do I keep my toddler entertained 24-7? Parenting in the time of COVID-19 raises lots of questions. So where should you go first for answers, tips, and access to essential resources? First five California.